Hi class, so this is uh, 3DS Max 2021. So there's something I'm gonna do, which is I'm gonna create a file called a Max scene file. And that's gonna sit here in Documents, 3DS Max 2021 Scenes, right? So you can kind of see the path up here. Now in my Scenes folder, that's where I save my work as I go. There's a folder with my name on it, there's a temp folder, and then there's even a couple of uh, little example files here, which I'm going to go ahead and move those out, hide those. All right. So what I need to do is I'm going to jump in here in 3ds Max. I'm going to make a couple changes to my default setup. All right. And so I'm going to go, for starters, I'm going to go rendering, render setup. And then inside there, you see it's render setup is Arnold. Uh, we don't really use Arnold very much in games, right? That's something more if you were working in film, you'd probably use it. So we're actually going to change this to the scanline renderer because it's uh, the more uh, standard renderer that's in there, right? Uh, when you look at older tutorials, mine have been updated to use more recent stuff, but older tutorials, you'll kind of see this older methodology in here. And if you're working on more like low end stuff, more like mobile games, you'd probably be working with a renderer that's closer to a scanline renderer. All right, so that's the first thing. Now next we're gonna come up here to customize unit setup. I'm gonna go into system unit setup. I'm gonna make sure that one unit equals centimeters. Now the default is inches. So you're gonna to wanna to change that to say system unit setup, one unit equals one centimeter. And you'll click okay. Now under the unit setup, you just leave that on generic. All right, you don't need to change anything else here. Just leave this one at generic and say, okay. Now, another thing that you could do that could be useful is if you uh, come up here to where the little three is with the magnet in the, in the corner and right click on it, that gives you the grid and snap settings. And so one thing that will be helpful, especially later on towards the end of class when we start getting into uh, making modular pieces for games, is if you go to home grid, there's grid dimensions and current Grid spacing is 10, so that's 10 centimeters. So if we set it to 100 and then close this, now it's set to 100 centimeters. So basically, each one of these blocks is uh, one meter, right? And I know you're saying, but Mr. Nauman, we live in America and we don't use the metric system. But here's the thing in video games, um, because it's easier for the machines to uh, work in increments uh, of ones and zeros, the metric system is much easier to work with. And it's easy to jump on the internet and to check the different size of things. All right, so now I have this scene, right? And one thing that I gotta do here is I gotta go through and I'm gonna save this as a generic file. Let me just double check what the name of this file is. All right, so I'm gonna do file. See how it says until I'm gonna do file, save. And right here in scenes, I'm gonna call this max start. And I'm gonna hit save. All right, so now when I close 3ds max, so I click close on 3ds max, and then I've relaunched it, and I paused the tutorial while it was doing that, only because it takes a little while to open it. And so now you'll see it says untitled up here because this is a fresh brand new scene. And now if I go to make something, right, I can go into box, keyboard entry, and I'll enter a value of 100 for length, 100 for width, and 100 for height, and hit create. And now that has a one meter box out there in the world, and you can see how that fits there in the grid. If I go to rendering, render setup, it's set to the default scanline renderer, which is exactly what we want. So uh, that's it. I just want you, everyone needs to go in and make one of those max start scenes. All right. And that's going to sit in your 3DS Max. All right. So it will be users, documents, 3DS Max 2021 scenes, and you're going to have a file called max start. Right? And as long as you make those changes, like I just did, every time you load up, it'll be working just like that, and you'll be all set for all the tutorials that we're going to do. So, carry on.